Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm a certified makeup artist for Ageless Derma. Today we're going to be talking about how to apply a natural makeup look for freckles and red skin. We're going to be using products that are vegan, cruelty free, paraben free, and use vitamins and antioxidants. So the first step to a flawless makeup look is the proper skincare. You want to make sure that you're using products that have natural ingredients and have a firming effect. Today I may be using the Vitamin Enrich Firming Serum so that my skin is nice and tight before my makeup. So the first step to a natural makeup look is foundation. I'm going to be using the Mineral Foundation um, because it's a liquid and my skin's more on the dry side. Um, how I'm going to apply this is I'm going to use a flat-headed brush um, this has, it's a little more dense, so it actually gives that nice buffed out airbrush look. And I really want to cover up my redness and my uh, freckles. So you want to buff it into the skin. And the reason I use a foundation before my concealer is to even out the overall skin tone, and then you can go in and spot treat additional coverage with your concealer. So now that I have it placed, I actually like to blend it out with my fingers just to warm it into the skin. And I take a little bit on the eyelid because we all have a little bit of unevenness there and it preps for a nice primer for your eyeshadow. Now we're going to be using our Ageless Derma Cream Blush in the color Coral Mist. Um, the reason I'm using a cream blush is because, again, I'm on the drier side, so this is going to give me a nice, natural, still radiant look. How I apply it is I use my finger, and I just dab right on the apples of my cheeks. And the reason I'm using my finger is because it warms the product, so it blends nice and easily. And you just want to focus on the apple, work your way up. You never want to take the blush below your nose and you always want to do about a finger's width away from the nose, so then it lifts the face. Another thing you can do with the cream blush is actually use it as a lip tint, so it becomes a multi-use product. So the next step is our eyeshadow, and I'm using the Ageless Derma Baked Mineral Eyeshadow Duo. Um, it's in a nice natural it's in a nice natural shade that's just a light, a highlight and a crease color. So very simple for a natural look. You want to start with the highlight, tap off the excess, and you just want to brush that on from lash line up to the brow bone. Then you want to take the darker shade, the crease color, tap the excess, and you really want to look straight into the mirror and find your crease. So you just blend down like a V. So it's lower lash line up into the crease to create a contour. You can even take a little bit on the lower lash line and smudge it out. But the mineral eyeshadow is nice and creamy and it blends really nicely. So since the eyeshadow is baked and not pressed, it really has a creamy texture for a nice flawless application. So now we're going to define our eyebrows with a brow pencil. Um, when you're applying your eyebrow pencil, you want to make sure that your brows start straight up from the nose, it, the tail ends straight out from the nose to the edge of the eye, and your arch goes right to the edge of the color of your eye. So first, you take the spoolie at the end. You want to just make sure you brush them up first, and then I usually just draw and outline the bottom so it's nice to define. 
So the next step is our mascara. I look for volume in my mascara because I have a lot of length and curl already. So how I apply my mascara is I always take the brush and go right to the lash line and kind of wiggle up. This is how you apply a natural makeup look for someone with hyperpigmentation, redness, or freckles. If you like this video, please visit agelessderma.com for more videos like this. Thank you.